All right, this video is about uh, viewing in 3D on DesignCAD. So right here we have, uh, let's say, zoom in. And you want to look around this part. You, I want to flip this part around that I've been working on. And then I try, and it goes, just blows out of view, right? Because the center of the viewport is somewhere else. So you take this here, this camera with the line going to it, and click it, and come over here and click on one part one time, enter, and you don't have to worry about the view going somewhere else. You can, but if you hit more than one point, it'll it's a 3D view, so you can set up yourself with a specific camera angle. But if you just want to see it, move it around, this is how it goes. And then right here, we just hit set view by view center. I'm not sure why they call it that, but it's kind of your orbit. All right, so you can go around, you can look around this part. Everything looks like it's going okay. And you realize, you kind of lost track of where you are, right? So I like sometimes on the part like this, I'll, I'll do the uh, parts in different colors so I can remember the orientation. Uh, but here, like at the end, sometimes you don't. If you that's the same reason why I have that cube, so I can see my X Y Z. Typically, I would do the X Y Z in colors too. <clears throat> but here was just a uh, afterthought. And sometimes what's happening too is as you move around and you're upside down like this, the orbit acts differently. And after you do it a lot, you understand. But so there's that. And then let's say right now we're in a specific view. If I go V, and I draw a line right there. And then I come around the back side. All right, see, there's this is a perfect example. So I would just have to go here and I've reoriented the drawing for myself. But if I let's say I go back, and I've lost track and and um, having difficulty getting back. Just go up here to isometric. You know, bring you back to the first original isometric, and hit your view, and then it'll just bring you back to wherever it is you're looking for. Right? I like this view for this part. <clears throat> Depending on the angles, on different views work better. And then that's it. If you, sometimes you'll be drawing. I'm not sure if I can actually set it up so it happens that way. But if you're in perspective, and I orient this here a little bit. So this is my original view. And then I go to draw. So what's happening now is I can't see that part. I just drew a, a polygon. I can't see it. Let's draw a 3D cube. And it's, it's not showing up, what, what's going on. It's showing that there's something there, but I can't see it. And that's exactly what's happening. It's seeing it in space, but your view, you're actually looking at almost like a reflective view of the part because it's behind the perspective camera. So, uh, so after you, you could bring yourself back to your original view easy now, and then the other one is to, where's that part? So if you hit Control W, Control W, it, here's my part, the original part. Control A, and it'll show you this is where I just drew those pieces and parts, right? I think. Uh, Control W. Control W. I thought I did a cube. Hey, it's way over here. See up in the corner? Those are the polygon and the cube that I drew. So <clears throat> if you go back into uh, isometric, go back into perspective. Hit Control W. It won't acknowledge that it's in your view with the zoom extents. It'll only see it if it's in isometric. So that's how you bring it back. All right. Hope that helps in your career. Thanks for watching.